Hello, Debbie here from Barossa Valley Crafts. Welcome back. So today's craft along, we're going to be making this card. Now all these products and the kits are available from Craft Zone. I will add the link in the description. So this particular one, it looks like this when it's closed and the sides will open up. So it's a gatefold card. So it will look like that from the top. And that from the front when it's open and then on the back you can add your greetings and sentiments there now all of these products that we're using you can buy individually so I'll show you what's in the kit so in the kit you will get a die cut fairy a piece of white card some uh, mirror card your picture card and the base card all these items if you wanted to are able to be purchased separately if you wanted to make more than just the one card that we're going to do in the kit you can also buy the die itself as well so that's the die that we're going to be using today but if you don't want to buy them individually you can just buy it in the kit form and craft along with me so let me show you how this one goes together. So to start off with, with your picture card, we're going to cut two two inch strips. So from the left side of the card, cut two inch strip off there. And then again, another two inch strip. Now, if you don't have one of these guillotines, um, if you've got a cutting board, use that. If not, you can just do it by measuring it and drawing a pencil line and then cutting it with scissors. So that's now got that ready. Then we'll go to our base card. So it's already scored where the fold lines are going to go. So on the inside line will become a valley fold. So we'll just burnish that to give it a crisp fold. Then on the other score line, fold it back into a hill fold. So it gives you that effect. And repeat the same thing on the other side. So just fold it and burnish it. And again. There you go. So that will then give you your card base for the gate fold. Then we're going to attach these in the card. So the center piece will obviously go in the center. And the two two inch pieces will go on either side of the front. Now, if you want to, you can trim a little bit off here if you don't want it to be an exact fit. So with this one, you can see I've actually trimmed it a little bit so that it's got a black border around the top and the bottom. So that's one way you could do it. But with this one, I'm not going to trim it just so you can see the different ways it will look. So we're going to attach those. So I'm just going to use some glue to put these in. Now again, if you prefer, you can use double-sided tape. So I always use double-sided tape when I'm using foil card. But this sort of card glue will be fine if you can go without dropping it like I just did. And then line that up in the center and push it into place. Just get that bit of glue off. And then the same again to your two edge bits. So we'll just pop some glue on. While I'm doing this, um, if you're interested, I do have a couple of Facebook groups. One's called Card Making for Beginners and Beyond. The other one is called Barossa Valley Crafts. I'll add the links in the description. And if you'd like to join us, you're more than welcome. You can share your creations with like-minded people and have a bit of fun with everybody. Okay, and we'll just pop this one on the other side.
Now, if um, a craft zone is actually in Australia, but they do ship overseas, they're, so they're based in Melbourne. So if you want orders sent overseas, they do do that. So that's not a problem. Now, the mirror card we're going to attach to the inside here. So I've already put some double-sided adhesive on here to save a little bit of time. So we'll just pop a strip in there. And another one on the other side. There we go. And then we're going to attach the fairy cutout into the card. So I'm just going to grab some other glue. So I'll just grab this because it's got the fine tip on it, which is good when you're using intricate um, dies. So I'm just going to pop some glue around the fairy. There is another product called Sticky Specs, which is great for this. It's little tiny dots of glue on a sheet of paper and it just picks up where you need it. When you get your die cut, make sure you punch, because if all the pieces aren't out of the wings, make sure you punch all the little excess pieces out so that you get the effect of the wings. Okay, and then we'll pop her into place. You can place her wherever you like. We'll put her there. There we go. So now when your card is closed, you'll see her in there. And when it's open, it'll be like that. And then this piece here, because this is for our sentiment, if you want to stamp anything on there, do it now. So from your own stash, you can stamp whatever sentiment you like on there. And then we will attach that onto the back of the card. So we'll just pop the glue on and put that on the back. And that's where your greetings will go. And that's it. So quick, so easy. And when it's all finished, the actual finished card size is five and three quarters by almost six inches. So it will fit into a six by six envelope for posting. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please do give me the thumbs up and please do come and join us in the Facebook groups. And if you do, please do share your creations. That would be awesome. Thank you for joining me. Bye.